I'm standing here next to my 1994 Toyota SR5 and I need to replace the window regulator, the electric window regulator in the truck here. Um, it died the other day. I blamed Heidi, but it's not really her fault. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it was failing on me and then uh, finally it just completely died on her with the window half down. So anyways, we got the window up. Um, I tried to uh, fix the old one and it's still acting the same as uh, you know the, the fix that I thought was going to take um, still wasn't good enough so um, I ordered up a new regulator and so I'll go ahead and show you the installation. Well, there's two screws here there's a screw in the handle uh, Phillips head and then there are some little push push uh, not really sure what the names of these things are but I'll show you what they look like when I take this apart so I got one of these little guys I have a few of these around the shop if anybody's like me they drop stuff all the time and these are really handy for getting in little tight little corners um, you know, even if you're not doing mechanic and work, they're handy around the house as well. So I got two of these guys out of the door handle. I'll set everything in the floorboard here so hopefully I won't lose it. This screw here I took out, I left out, um, the last time I disassembled that, and that's in the console of the truck, so I didn't lose that. Um, so now I want to go ahead and take this off. But basically this whole mechanism this whole mechanism slides forward and you pull it out like this and you pull it out and then the armature the little wire that runs from the door handle that you operate this back and forth runs out to the end where my fingers point and un unlatches the door and I'll run that keeper forward I'll grab a hold with the pliers on this end and then slide this down so if you can see up close where the wire goes the wire is an L-shaped piece I'll show you that it's just an L-shaped piece I'll back you back up here and show you that that slides into this so the L-shaped piece the flat bar that goes a horizontal snaps into this and then it keeps that uh, L-shaped piece in this little hole here so the L piece runs up like this and then back towards the uh, door opening okay so I got that out now back you back up here there you go this whole thing here hooks into where the window runs up and down so um, I have to unsnap these little keepers here. They run into these little holes, these little keepers. You can't see them right now. And I'll show you when I get the uh, panel off of here. Just slide it over top, top of the door latch or the door lock. And I, flip, I, have, a, I have a little three foot ladder here that I can just lay this whole panel down on. And that way I don't have to unplug my electronics here for my switches on the door. And here's these, uh, these little keepers. They kind of mushroom out and they snap into these holes in the side of the truck. And they just snap in and snap out. Uh, a little flathead screwdriver can work if they're a little tough to get out. And now I have to carefully remove, this is just like Visqueen. It's the, plastic or no plastic maybe and it's held on there with some oh some sticky black stuff <laughs> so I carefully trying not to stretch the plastic and then I'll stretch I'll, I'll take all the plastic off and just lay it right on top of the panel just like that now here's a close-up of that wire that runs back and forth to the door latch that goes to your handle. Okay, so I believe these are number 10. It is a number 10. Okay. Just 
Let's remove these four screws here. That's what holds your regulator in. And I believe we also have that one. Nope, we don't have to remove that one. But what I want to do first is I want to stick a board up in here so I can keep my window elevated. Okay, I cut the stick 22 inches long and I cut a little V-notch in the very end of that board to hold the window itself in place. So that part will go up. Um, I just cut this on the bandsaw. So I'll just lay that in there for right now. Remove these screws, or move these uh, bolts here. Okay, so I let this down just enough to remove these bolts here. These uh, sandwich in here and tighten against the window to raise it up and down. of those okay back in here there's the electrical connection it's a little pigtail that uh, you can see the you can see the clip right here and you need to take those needle nose that I lost and all you have to do is just pinch those in and that pops right in there to where you can pull this out and disconnect these two connections here and so there's a little tab right here you push that down and that comes apart just like so now that uh, window regulator is completely free what I did is I I put this stick in here and I propped it up here next to the outside of the door as again a 22 inch piece of one by two um, and so now I got the I got the window elevated now and so it's completely out of the way of this cavity to where I can work that other, um, I can work the bad window regulator out of here. So the motor's back in here. Tilt that down and forward. Try to work it this way armature I'm pointing it up towards the corner where the uh, lock is tilt it back towards me Pull the electronics out okay this is won't take it back if the bag's been opened so I laid I laid this new one next to the old one to verify that it was the uh, it was uh, definitely the left hand opener so the left hand and the right hand electric openers are different obviously so are the manual ones but anyway so best I can tell it looks like it's the one that fits so I'm looking in here and they've already pre-lubricated they've already pre-lubricated that track so I don't need to put anything in there so that's good now I just have to remember how to put it in. So the track, the open face of the track faces towards towards me or the door panel. And so now I just have to work this thing in. Put the wire in first. Now I forgot to mention that the, the window guide runs inside here. And that bolt right there, sometimes if you take that loose, it makes it a little bit easier. But you want to make sure that the window can't come down. It could crack it. If it gets in a bind, you know, the window might might crack. So I just left this attached. I can work, work this thing around to where um, I believe I can. <laughs> uh, to where I can get this in here without having to take that bolt out. So I just kind of... Try to work the new one in there. And 
the motor assembly and everything is right here in this area. That's the widest part. And that seemed to work out okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. You can see the end there. That little guy right there goes back through that hole. There we go. On this one, you see that release right there? There's a little catch right here that keeps this from becoming unplugged. So, I can turn that around, reinsert that, and that secures the wire. It comes through that hole right there on the uh, door frame. Okay, the door inside metal part of the door handle. Okay, this hole here has wear, that has wear, this has wear, and that has wear. So, now what I mean by wear, the paint's been uh, compromised, I guess, or marred a little bit due to these screws being inserted in here. So, I know it's this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole. Um, so I can line this hole up with this guy right here. This is the lower right hand corner closest to the motor. holes all these other holes line up I think they try to make it easier for you this hole here is elongated so that could be um, you know the place I should have showed you to start uh, start with but I've done a couple of these so far and it doesn't make a difference as far as I'm concerned okay now I got that one there and they got plenty of grease on all the working parts on this if you was to get one and it didn't have grease on it I just put I just go ahead and grease them up now all these um, all these screws out of here are the same length so you don't have to worry about paying attention to length sometimes you I suppose in different models you would See why I can leave those a little bit loose so I can move the hole around a little bit and line this stuff up. Okay, so we got this little hook right here. The window just sits right in into that little that little cup right there. Now I'm gonna take my stick here I had holding the window up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that make an attempt to there we go I'm gonna lower the window down by hand this is the hole here I like to start with and this is kind of you know got a shape to it obviously it's got a shape to it right but it's got kind of a circular not just a straight across shape that's what I'm trying to say okay now these window brackets, as you've seen earlier, there's a little hook right here. It goes on the back side of this light colored tab. There's a little hook right here, a little hook right there. goes on the back side of the window and forward this light colored uh, connection. On the other side, that hook part goes underneath, directly underneath the center where that screw mounts together. Now the window will just sit there just like that. Now I take my two number 10 screws that are, or num two number 10 bolts that I took out of there, and I fasten those in. All right, now I can run everything setting just fine. I'm going to run these in tight. Yep, I tightened up uh, tightened up these four screws here. I tightened up the screws in the window, the two here and the four here. And the window is resting on this bracket. Now I need to go get a set of keys and 
start the truck and operate the window to see if it works. Well, I won't start the truck and make too much noise, but I'll uh, just turn on the ignition to ACC. I guess I can put this in. Hopefully, I uh, just ta bar barely tack it. Kind of stretch it, take the two corners and center the plastic and just press it into place to get it out of the way. And I'm just going to set that uh, panel up here on that three foot ladder I have. Two or three foot ladder. And then I'm going to operate that to see if it works. Forward to ACC. There we go. That works really good. So I'll go ahead and turn this off. I'll make sure that the plastic is uh, making connection on all of that. Looks like tar, but it's uh, um, it's just a like a um, non-hardening sealer. All right, so I'm gonna take and rock the panel uh, up a little bit so I can make it over top of the door lock. Get that to seat into that channel back behind the window. So I think I'm going to run the window up just a little bit. Take that off of there first. Run the window up just a little bit. Okay, now what that'll do for me is that'll give me something to push up against when I set this down. Um, so this is, this is hooked, so it hooks in just before it gets to the window. So I tilt that back up and like that. I have to bring it forward because those little snap uh, connectors will keep me from having this door you know push back all the way so I gotta kinda go in at an angle and let that drop into place now I snap all these I kinda like to work from that the top little white to go down those in these little holes here just give a punch all the way down on the other side do the same install the door handle so I got to fish around in there with my finger and get that little hooked piece of wire hold that out with a pair of uh, pliers as far back as I can go get this down to where you can see, see it I can't hardly see myself it's getting dark and then I uh, slip slip this forward drop that hook into place and then rotate this other piece forward with another, uh, you can do it with another pair of pliers or it's easier with a little uh, flat, flathead screwdriver. I can hold it up with my index finger that I'm holding up the, holding this, uh, well, I can rotate that forward too, that works. As long as I don't overstretch it. Okay, so that's in place. Now I just work that in flat, push it against the door, and give it a little tap backwards. So, and I make sure I operate it. So, okay, the mechanism is working. The screw. Now look it around for this guy right here. And that goes in the door handle. Goes in the door handle here. That's snug. Now I have to put these two screws in the door handle. Door handle here, here, and here.
one at a little bit of an upward angle. And it's sure handy to have these little, this is a little 12 volt lithium ion DeWalt um, drill. And I'm really happy with it, uh, especially with that little light on there sometimes when I'm working uh, during times like this, it's really, really helpful. Here, I have a little plastic circular tab that goes in here and here. I have to make this look like that. And when you pull it out, or when you put it in, you snap that in. And that spreads those little, little parts out to where it can't come out. But when you install it, you have to have it back like that. So I push that in, kind of acts like a, a rivet. You'll hear it kind of snap into place. And you just push that guy in and it holds it in. Now, these guys are shaped like this. Why they made them different? Don't know. But uh, these kind of, they just snap in, but they actually have a Phillips head on them. You can back them out uh, if you go to take them out, but they just kind of snap into place. Down here on the lower part of the panel. Okay, I know that one there just pushes in. It don't work really well, but there it is. Anyway, that pretty much is it. Uh, I got to roll this up. I watch it not work because I'm got everything all buttoned up here. But see if you guys can witness this. Oh yeah. Okay, that works really nice. All right, dark. Um, video is probably terrible, but uh, appreciate you stopping by and checking us out. So if you have a 1994 Toyota pickup, that's how you change out a, well, that's how I change it out. Maybe this is bad how-to video, but uh, this is just kind of what we do around a, a homestead here is Heidi does the, uh, a lot of the cooking and uh, stuff like that and preserving and I do a lot of the fixing. So now we have a new window regulator, electric window regulator, my 1994 Toyota pickup. Thanks for watching.